After very briefly examining the relationship between Lithuania and Latvia, it only seemed appropriate to move on to our neighbor to the southwest, the country of Poland. The relationship between Lithuania and Poland is an interesting one. Sadly, it's not one that is as brotherly as with Latvia. But when you look at the history of the two countries, things make a little more sense. So let's unpack some of it in today's video. The history between Lithuania and Poland goes back, way back. In fact, there's so much history that I think a separate video about the history between the two countries is required. Today, however, we will only give a rough overview and then look at the current relationship between Poland and Lithuania. So at one point, Lithuanians and Poles were united under one political union known as the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, which stood for nearly 200 years between the late 1500s and the late 1700s. This covered a huge portion of land stretching from modern-day Poland up to Latvia and over to Belarus and Ukraine. Even prior to the establishment of this commonwealth, the two nations had good relations with each other. This was due to the 1386 marriage between Polish Queen Jadwiga or Hedwig and Lithuania's Grand Duke Jogaila. Interestingly, it was this marriage that would begin the adoption of Christianity as Lithuania's official religion. Up until this point in 1387, Lithuania stood out as the last pagan country in Europe. Polish-Lithuanian relations soured after the commonwealth was dissolved in the late 1700s. This was largely due to rising nationalist sentiments and competing claims to the Vilnius region. Apparently, one can't properly discuss Polish-Lithuanian relations without at least mentioning the famous Adam Miskiewicz. Miskiewicz has long been regarded as Poland's national poet but is also a revered figure in Lithuania. There's even an Adam Miskiewicz museum located in Vilnius. Aside from being a great poet, Miskiewicz was a human example of good relations between Polish and Lithuanian cultures, living in a time when there were no strong differences between ethnicities. While Miskiewicz wrote in Polish, he also considered himself a Lithuanian while being born in an area that is now modern-day Belarus. Again, it's a challenge to describe in adequate detail all the conflicts between Lithuania and Poland in the early 1900s without making this video too long. But there's a lot of back-and-forth territorial conquest which also involved Soviet Russia and German forces. To keep it short though, it's worth knowing that the Lithuanian capital of Vilnius was occupied and claimed by Poland between 1920 and 1939. This meant that Lithuania's capital city during this period was Konis. According to LRT, a popular interwar slogan in Lithuania was, We will not rest without Vilnius. But in October 1939, this would be replaced with, We have Vilnius, but the Russians have us. There are many years during the history of Vilnius that its population was majority Polish. In 1944, 80% of the population were ethnically Polish. Generally speaking, tensions and conflict came from the fact that many Poles at the time wanted to bring back the old commonwealth. However, Lithuanians wanted their own country separate from Polish influence and culture. In an effort of Lithuanianization, Lithuanians and Soviets agreed to relocate the Polish population to Poland in the 1940s. This relocation was brutal and many died along the way. Both countries emerged from under the control and or influence of the Soviet Union around the same time. Lech Wałęsa and his new coalition partners came calling on Polish President Jaruzelski in his official residence to present their vision of a new Poland, guided by a non-communist government with a solidarity prime minister. On March the 11th, 1990, Lithuania declared its independence from the Soviet Union. Negotiations with Moscow on recognition of the state continued until, in January 1991, the Soviet Union sent in armed forces to put down the People's Revolution. It is still unclear whether today's events are the start of a major crackdown or simply one more step in Mikhail Gorbachev's year-long war of nerves. Since the fall of the Iron Curtain and the transition to free market economies, the relationship between Lithuania and Poland has gradually improved. Poland joined the NATO alliance in 1999, while Lithuania followed in 2004. After this, both countries officially joined the EU on the exact same day on May 1st, 2004. Poland is a major trading partner for Lithuania and sits in the top three alongside Germany and Latvia. However, since Poland is a much larger economy, Lithuania makes up a much smaller percentage of Poland's trade activity. In more recent times, Poland and Lithuania have had to collaborate and unite against Belarusian aggression and the 2021 migrant crisis, which took place along the borders of Poland, Lithuania, and Latvia. More recently, Poland and Lithuania celebrated the opening of a gas pipeline connecting the two countries and their energy markets. 
This has been hailed as a lifesaver for Poland, which has had its gas supplies from Russia cut off amid the war in Ukraine. Ethnic tensions in areas close to the border unsurprisingly seem to be a thing. In the southern town of Szalcinenki, Lithuania, Russian is the primary language, but ethnic Poles make up around 70% of the population in the area. Some are worried that this area could be a prime environment for a separatist movement, with some groups in the region allegedly being pro-Kremlin. On the other side of the border in Poland, the town of Sene has a Lithuanian majority, which itself struggles to find education in the Lithuanian language. Another tension has existed for Polish Lithuanians or Lithuanians with Polish ancestry when it comes to the recognition of their historic names. Until recently, non-Lithuanian citizens of Lithuania had to transcribe their names according to Lithuanian phonetic rules and could not use letters that didn't exist in the Lithuanian alphabet, such as W, Q, or X. However, new rules came into effect in early May 2022, allowing for official government documents to feature the original spelling of names and surnames with certain letters, something that many Lithuanians of Polish descent welcome enthusiastically. Based on my research at the time of making this video, it seems like Lithuanians are a lot more negatively opinionated about Poles than the other way around. Some people tell me that many in Poland rarely joke or even discuss Lithuania as if the country almost didn't exist. There seem to be more Lithuanians or people in parts of Lithuania that perhaps have a more negative attitude towards Poland. This seems to be subtle and low-key and can come in the form of simple jokes equating stupidity and foolishness or poverty to being Polish. Hopefully these jokes can remain as harmless and benign as the jokes about Estonians being slow, but I guess that's not for me to decide. In 2019, while she was a candidate for president, the now Prime Minister Ingrida Szymonite highlighted the importance of representing the Polish minority in Lithuania. As someone who has Polish ancestry, Szymonite said that the language for her was a quote, path to those books that I could not get in Lithuanian. The now Prime Minister went on to say, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth gave so much to the world that it would be simply stupid to separate ourselves and not see the gift that we received over the course of history. She then added, Poland is our path to the West, both geographically and in terms of infrastructure, investment, or our joint projects. Poles help us to become attached to the Western world in all ways possible, through pipelines, links, roads, as well as culturally, and with other means. If you're watching from Poland or Lithuania, what's your opinion on the relationship between the two countries? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment. My very heartfelt and sincere thanks to all the Polish and Polish-Lithuanian people that helped me with my research. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.